Good morning everyone. Welcome back to Krishna Kumar Everyday English. Today I am going to teach you a topic called Relative Pronouns. What is our topic today? Relative Pronouns. And now here we will see the definition. Relative Pronouns. These pronouns combine or relate sentences or clauses together is known as relative pronouns. So here they relate sentences or clauses. So here sentences, you know what a sentence is. Sentence is a group of words. So here some sentences we have to join together and we use these relative pronouns to join some sentences. And now we will see some examples. Here examples of relative pronouns who, whose, whom, which, that. So what are the examples of relative pronouns? Who, whose, whom, which, that. And now we will see how these words are used to join sentences. The first one we will see who. Who is used to join sentences when we are talking about only human beings. And who is used for only human beings in subjective case. Subjective case. What do you mean by subjective case? Now, you know already subjective pronouns. Subjective pronouns. Subjective pronouns. What are those here? I, you, we, they, he, she, it. So these are subjective pronouns. So every sentence will have a subject, verb and object. So the structure of a sentence is subject, verb and object. So these pronouns which we said are used in the subject. Now here who is used to join sentences when we are talking about only human beings in subject case. And e who and a word human beings ki upay gin chale was to lak upay gin chakodadu. Ivi guda e who and a word eppudu upay gin chale eppudaitya pronounce subjective case lo untayo. So when these pronouns are in subject in the place of these pronouns uh, we are going to use who. Now we will see subjective case pronouns. So here uh, now this is the boy he met me yesterday. So here here we have to use here one relative pronoun. Which relative pronoun we can use here? Now we will see here. Uh, he is the boy who met me yesterday. So here and this is the pronoun and in this place and I can use who. Who met me. So here subjective pronoun. See subjective case pronouns. Subjective case pronouns are I, you, we, they. If we find and uh, like this pronouns in the place of this and we can use who and here you have to remember and now what is the answer here this this is this is the boy who met me yesterday so this is the answer now next one here second one you have to tell me I met a lady she cooks food deliciously now here see here and here how to uh, use these relative pronouns in this sentence i met a lady who, who cooks food deliciously so where we have to use who she. in the place of she so what i can use here and here relative pronoun i can use here and i can write here i why because they are in the subject place subject verb object right so since they are in the subject and we have to use i met a lady who cooks food deliciously deliciously so now third one they are the people they lost everything in floods they are the people See, subjective pronouns, you have to understand. If you find subjective pronouns, we have to use who relative pronoun, who we have to use. And here, how to make sentence here? They are the people who lost 
everything. Everything in floods. So, in this way, we have to use relative pronouns who. Now, if there is another sentence like uh, uh, like uh, if you don't use like uh, the subject pronoun if there are something like objective pronouns objective pronouns me you us them him her it so these are the examples for objective pronouns so if you find these objective pronouns in the sentence if you want to replace if you want to replace these objective pronouns with the relative pronouns we are to use whom whom we are to use okay so since we are replacing only subjective case pronouns we are to use who if you are going to replace objective case pronouns we are to use who whom we are to use Okay, did you understand? Now, if I write one example, it will be easy for you. Now, uh, one example. He is a teacher he is a teacher I met him yesterday. Okay, he is a teacher. I met him yesterday. How to write? So here. Ah, he is a teacher. I met him yesterday. Ah, so we have to remove this one. He, uh, we have to remove this one and we have to uh, he is a teacher whom I met yesterday he, he is a teacher whom I met yesterday you do understand now we have to remove this uh, him and write whom we have to write okay in the place of him, we have to write whom and, and be, between these two sentences we have to write. Did you understand? And if there are objective case pronouns and we have to use whom. There are subjective case pronouns and we have to replace with the who. Did you all understand? Is that clear for you? Yes, okay, okay. Thank you.